afternoon. This is um, a very warm afternoon um, in the Federal University of Technology, Oweri, and um, it's actually the 31st convocation ceremony we've all been waiting for at this institution, this great citadel of learning. Anyways, um, a lot of photo students who have gone through the hustle, through the struggle, uh, we can be asking them a few questions what it feels to leave a high institution such as Federal University of Technology, Oweri. Anyways, you must know this is Hop TV, and I'm Asha Oweri. Yes, it's still Hop TV, and with me here. Yes. Hello, my name is S. Jafabulo Stude. Uh, I, I graduated from Federal, from Federal University of Technology, Oweri, Imo State, from the Department of Biotechnology. Wonderful. He graduated from my own personal department, Biotechnology. And Biotechnology, and the Wallace is quite tough department. So, what was your major challenge scaling through this um, department? Actually, Biotechnology is a very, very interesting course, but it's very, very challenging because. It's very very fast. We talk about genetic engineering, plant modifications, and its technique. So it wasn't easy, Sha, but I thank God we we made it finally. That's me, that's me. So what is your advice to most students who are still in this school? Anyways, I would advise them to focus on their studies because most students, let me use the word undergraduate because we are all scholars. Most undergraduates. When they get into the university, they might be affected with what they see in the environment, like social social activities. So it might affect them. Some may deviate from their studies, like joining courtism and all other activities that might distract them from their studies. So I would advise them to focus on their studies and know the reason why they were sent to the university by their parents. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. This is Hope TV and congratulations to this great man who just graduated from Federal University. Okay, still Hope TV and with me here is... He's a Uru Monachi. Okay, Monachi, what does it feel to leave this great style of learning for you? Well, uh, it feels great to leave um, this school and environment because like I've been here for the past, past five years and uh, it has not been easy for us, you understand, but like it feels great, you know, let's get into the world and know what it feels like to be outside the school. So it means after um, five years, you look rebranded, shaped, and a whole lot of them, I guess. Uh, well, well, yeah, sure. I, I can see I look rebranded. Sure, sure. You know, back in my year ones, we used to be like, oh, yopi, yopi stuff, you know. But right now, you know, we're, we're, we're growing up, you know, we are, we are becoming uh, men outside the world, so we need to be responsible. Okay. So um, what is one message to um, Futo students as a whole and Nigerian students for going through the institution? Oh, well, I just have one message for um, each and every one of us, you know, passing um, out from uh, Futo, those that are still in the school system, um, they should um, keep their heads up and you know, shoulders high and then stay focused on what they want to achieve in life, you know, it's not easy. You know, at times they tell us that when you graduate from school, there will, be, there will not be work for you. You, but I don't believe in that. If you just keep your head up and you know strong, and then definitely you get something in the future. That's Anyways, it. that is another graduate from Futo Congratulations. Hope TV and me here is a... okay. Uh, Melvin, Melvin by name. Melvin. So Melvin. what department did you graduate from? Computer that? science. Computer science. Wow. And you, sir? John Joshua by name. The same department. Computer science. Computer science. Melvin, right? Yes. Good. So what does it feel to graduate out of this great standard of learning? Wow, um, it's quite a very joyous thing, you understand? And spending five years in this school, this school is quite a difficult school and also a deeply minded school. You know, you have to keep your head above water, you understand, for you to survive in this school. So it's quite difficult. So it's, it's, it's glorious and it's joyous for us to graduate in this school without any problems. Oh, wonderful. Deal. Glorious and joyous for him to graduate out of this school, Mr. Joshua. I know you are um, kind of a political oriented person, so how, how did you actually balance um, politics and your academics together? And also, Brad said it's a good GP, I know. Okay, uh, actually, it wasn't easy trying to balance my academic with my political ambition. But first of all, I have to thank God for that. It was successful and it was easy for me to do that. And then, all the same, I give God the glory. Wonderful, wonderful. So, what is your biggest advice, Melvin, to Belgium Dress of Technology over students? Okay, um, number one is um, you need um, serious, you need, you, need, you need serious dedication in school, you need um, full time concentration, and whatever you do in this school, always remember that your year one and your, the, the worst advice that was given to me throughout was that I should take my year one and year two serious, then relax in my year three, four, and five, which is a mistake, you understand? So, to those out there, if you're in school, take your year one serious, your year two, your year three, your year four, to your final year, and believe me, you, you graduate smoothly. Wonderful, take all levels serious, sir, your advice. Okay, my advice is 
You don't allow anything to take away your primary purpose of being here, which is your academic. Even your political life is not worth it. So what you do is try to balance everything. If you know you're political-minded, you try to balance your education with your political ambition, and then you see things going well for you. Anyways, congrats to these great guys. It's the first um, convocation day. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, Joshua. It's nice having you on Hope TV. We meet here. My Daisy, Tonya. Um, public health students. Tonya. Yeah. Okay, Tonya. Tonya. She looks so excited and very simple. So, Tonya, what does it look like graduating out of this um, great citadel of learning? Let me call it the great citadel. It's not easy. Okay. Uh, it wasn't easy at all. It's, it's so, 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 so. Oh, God. Unbearable. But I thank God. Okay, okay. So, um, so, what is your advice, your advice to students who are still going through this process of getting their certificates? Um, just try your best. It's not a big deal. Just try. And we also have um, guides. There's a counseling unit. You can still visit there anytime you're having challenges. Wow, 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 wow. So you said, you think persons are, you think persons have mental issues or things like that that will hinder them from not getting their assessment? Of, of course. It happens, yeah. And public health, so it happens a lot. So that's why we have the counseling units um, at Student Affairs. So you can just go there, talk to them, and you'll be free. Wonderful. She's talking with so much pride, vibrancy, and that's Estonia once again. Thank you very much for having you, and good. I go see on Kingsley. Yeah, Kingsley looks so excited for his convocation. A lot of persons do not come for their convocation. Anyway, so Kingsley, what was your graduating JP? Two one. Two one is yeah. that a JP? Okay, no problem. He looks two one. Oh, two one is two one. So that is that. So Kingsley, what has he been for five years in this citadel? Yeah, uh, he's been hurt. Futo is hurt. But we thank God. We thank God. At least we graduated five years. Some people are still here, seven years, eight years, they are still here. But thank God we graduated five years. I'm, I'm so excited, I'm so excited about it. Wow, I wonder how it is going through five years of hell. Uh, uh, that is, that's quite thrilling. So, um, so, what is your advice, if possible, to students still in this school? I think anybody that is in this school should try and be a Jacobian. What I mean, Jacobian, you have to read, just read, that's just it. If you read, you will make your grades. Okay. That's just it. Okay. Yeah. okay, before I end up, what is your biggest challenge or what was your biggest challenge for the two of you? My biggest challenge is um, during my engine drawing. Uh, one, uh, Mr. Kapo gave us 32 title blocks to do. Uh, that was too much. It's one of my biggest challenges. Workshop, practicals, and all the rest. When you go for practicals, you have to stand for like three hours for a practicals. You'll be sweating. All those rush, uh, it's so hard. Oh, thank God. Thank that's God. good. That's good. That's good. Anyways, the main thing is that he went through and he survived through this skeletal part of Futu. Keep it locked down and say, Hope TV. Congratulations, sir. One more time. Oh, yes. I'm Gloria Badobi. Okay, Gloria, what department did you graduate from? Project Management Technology. Okay, and yes. Gloria, what... Um, uh, I can't hold that question. Uh, what did you graduate with, if possible? With a 2-1. With a 2-1. That's quite interesting, 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. Future students, um, like I heard sometimes that 2-1 in some universities are like first class. So what does exactly, it... Exactly, exactly. Okay. Because this place, you really need to study hard okay. to come out with a 2-1, let alone the first class. You really need to study. You can just sleep or flex around school and expect to come out with a 2-1. Yeah. Okay. So Gloria, what has been your biggest challenge so fast in five years or six years for some person who did pre-degree in this standard of learning? No, I didn't do pre-degree. Oh, you didn't do pre-degree, okay. Yes. One of my challenge, as in one of my challenges while in school, it's um, this diamond bank here. Huh? Oh, you, oh, oh, oh. Yes, it's a big challenge because you come out to withdraw your own money and you spend hours which you're meant to study. Do you understand? And again, early hour classes. Sometimes some lecturers will just call on, on impromptu classes by seven. You're expected to either write a, a test or something like that. And at times they are very strict with their attendance. If you don't attend, they will use it as a yes. Yeah. yes. So it has been a challenge, oh, okay. because social life here yeah, is just... It's quite healthy, I guess. Yes, zero in fact. Okay, okay. Because you even have time for yourself, let alone social activities. Oh, that's true. That's yes. So, um, Gloria, what is your advice to the management of the school and your advice to students of the school? I said, right? So the management of the school, I would advise they look into the facilities that are necessary. Like now, just the way I complained about this ATM stand here in Diamond Bank. 
They should provide more ATM stands for students to ease this stress. Not that you will stand in a queue, maybe at times for 30 minutes, just to be just maybe 3,000, 4,000, time that you would have used to do something very important to yourself. And also to the students, I would advise they study hard and avoid the social activities that will, like the one that happened lately, three students were found dead as a result of drugs. Yes, so they should abstain from research and study because we are all here to study and to come out with a good result. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. It's nice having Gloria on board. Congratulations to you once again. It, um, it, it's a privilege having so you on board. The first uh, convocation ceremony, and with me here is the best graduating student from this great citadel of learning. Please please introduce yourself. Hey, my name is Obo Yechitin from the Department of Maritime Management Technology. Wonderful. So what does it feel to be the best graduate student out of this tough school in Eastern Nigeria? Like, I can't express my feeling. I've been so happy. If you, if you really notice me today, I was just smiling sure, from sure. beginning to the end. Like, I'm just so very, very happy. I can't, can't explain it. <laughs> Wonderful. So um, what has been your challenge so far? Even Garissa is the best graduate student. Um, actually, from the beginning, financially, I had some issues, but towards the end, I said, my last two years in this school, I was made the course shape thing. Combining the course shape work and trying to still maintain your GP, it was actually challenging. I had to cut off from some other activities so that I can actually focus on. Wonderful. Despite her financial challenges, she's still scared through and was still the best in this wonderful institution. So what is your big advice to all students in this school? Um, like I said earlier, try to identify your priorities. Like know what you want and when you need to do the most important thing. Like don't just miss everything up. Because that's the, most times that's the challenge you face. You leave the, be the more important one to do the lesser important one. Wonderful, wonderful. So keep your focus as the best graduate student has said. So you heard it clear and sound. So I uh, would like to know your GP clear and stated. What exact GP did you graduate with in first school? Um, 4.90. 4.90, that's the boom. Thank you very much.